Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. This is episode four yep. of our Vlogmas series. And today we're going to be doing a sit down video going over five things that we love about the holidays. If you're new here, I'm Connor. I'm Rachel. And we have almost a two week old newborn named Logan and two dogs. Five things that we love about the holidays. First. Number one would be the quality time with family or loved ones. This year is extremely special because my family is going to be in town, like my parents. And they're not local. And they're not local. So it's been quite a few years since we celebrated the holidays with my family. So I'm really excited for that, yeah. for them to be here. We do live close to most of Connor's family, like half of them. So. Yep. We do get to see them most holidays. It's always good to see the other parts of our family that we don't get to see very often. Yeah, and especially with like COVID the last two years and stuff, just made traveling kind of weird, yep. as I'm sure it did for most of you. So it's, a, it's nice to have them local this year. And with the newborn, brand new baby, it's even more special. All right, number two. Number two would be the food, because you could eat a lot, a lot, a lot. Baking, like the Christmas cookies. Yep, lots of good food, lots of good treats, lots of good drinks. All of the above. We can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. Love the food portion of it. Yeah. We already got our neighbors dropped off some banana bread recently, which was just delicious. So good. Yep. So good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're planning on making some cookies here soon once I'm past my two week mark of postpartum, and then. Yeah, let the cooking begin and the festivities begin, which brings us to number three. The holiday festivities. So just like the get together, I know we have quite a few, like one for Connor's work, for extended family, then we have Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, yeah. and right after that is New Year's. Just all the stuff around town too. Like you'll probably see in one in our upcoming episode, try and go to, a, it's called the Botanical Gardens. Just a big Light. garden with a, a bunch of lights and food and hot chocolate and music. And then we just already went to Sensi and did yep. the Christmas lights there. Yeah. And there's like the downtown Christmas tree and everything, yeah. which some of those I don't think we're gonna get to this year, just having a newborn. It uh, seems like the evenings we get pretty tired yeah. <laughs> and yeah. wanna go to bed pretty dang early. But it's crazy how much a tiny human can wear you out. Wear you out. <laughs> that brings us to number four. <laughs> And that is that we're really excited to be creating new traditions with our little one yeah. starting this year, but more so going forward in the years to come. Yeah, starting our family and creating those traditions that are going to last a lifetime. Like Christmas morning will be, I don't know, it'd be more special. I feel like as an adult, when you get older, Christmas and holidays kind of lose their oomph. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been, but, do, been doing the same stuff over and over and over again, so it's nice to... Now we have a little one. Yeah, we we'll create to. our own memories. So her. that's really exciting. Yeah. She won't really understand anything this year at all, really. No. She'll know what milk is, but yeah. <laughs> besides that, we are really excited for, you know, next year. She'll be about a year. She'll be a year. So yeah. it'll be a lot different this time next year. Yeah. This will this will be a special time just because her birthday is a month before Christmas, yeah. give or take. So her birthday falls is November 25th. So every so many years it'd be on Thanksgiving day or it will always be right around Thanksgiving. So this time of year will be, will be a fun, fun holiday season and a birthday. And yeah. then my birthday is right after the New Year's. So yeah, so. pretty close together. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. The number five would be just the decorating. I love having the holiday spirit yeah. for, I don't know, after Christmas day, I usually take down all the Christmas stuff I'm done. But like right after Thanksgiving, it's nice to Christmas. Nice to change up your space. Yeah, have setting up stuff around here, putting the lights on the house. We love always getting in the car at least one evening and going around and driving and seeing everybody's Christmas lights. I don't know about where you live, but where we live, there's a couple houses that go all out with the Christmas lights and do it to music. And you turn to this radio station and the lights are going towards going to, to the music. Yeah, it's and pretty cool. That's really really cool. Yeah. Some people go all out. We don't do that at all, especially now that we have some. We had some snow on the ground and everything. Most people aren't putting up their lights now. Yeah. So, Definitely yeah. cool to see. 
Well, thanks for watching. Those are the five things that we love about Christmas. Obviously there's more, but those are probably the top ones that we could think of today. Yeah, just a quick little video, but hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, so. It means the world to us. Hit it, hit it. Subscribe. See you later. Thank you. Oh,